That's Berry Farm. You're here early, and I love it. What'd you have for breakfast, buddy? Dinger in the house. It's number 70. That's right. This is our 70th class. Number 70. Hard to believe. We're about 15 minutes early here, 15 minutes before the actual class starts, but wanted to make sure the Wi-Fi worked. A little drizzly here in California, but we're rocking and rolling. We got some special guests that will be joining today. It's a little drizzly here, so we're trying to use this thing to cover. Well, I think it. There's, there's a little bit of uh, drizzle, so we're figuring out how to cover up the. Keaton here today. She's going to be joining us. But when the wind blows, let's try that. In there. And we might have to prop it up a little higher off. Screen here. Okay. Um, how about we put stuff on the? It There's, needs to be up higher. Do we put stuff on the side to hold it up? Yeah, that that'll work. Well, there's just not not really a lot of room inside. Dinger, do that. So we're gonna try to we're gonna make an effort. That's why we're here early. It wants to fall that way. Oh, this way? Backwards. Oh, backwards. What'd you have for breakfast there, Dinger? So if we shut the screen door, it doesn't work? You can try it. I don't want a burden. There you go. Is that it? Okay, let's That's move pretty that. Come out on camera, Emily, please. So keep this where you want it, and then I'll. Okay, now it's going this way. Mm -hmm. So. We just get like a. You want it higher? Right? We have to do something. Wait, is it already on? We are live. So. Got it. We got to be outside for the big 70. There we go. That's perfect. Look at that. Looks 
pretty good. So you are getting a behind the scenes of uh, us setting up. I got to take a photo. It's a little drizzle. So we have put an umbrella in three pieces of foam and put it in a bucket and propped it up on the drum. And now I'm taking a picture of it. Outstanding. We will get started in nine minutes, folks. Uh, finish up your breakfast. Get your shirt tucked in. It's going to be epic. I took a picture of that. That's awesome. All the way. All the way. Good morning, Speedy. What'd you have for breakfast? I had uh, some waffles with blueberry myself. Oh, and Keats. If you want to grab those green dumbbells, we'll use those. That's right. Oh, yeah. Aubrey James is in the house. Class hasn't started yet. This is just... This is just the warm up as people are checking in. The cousins joining today. That's right. That's right. Now, Keaton, you got to watch out with your dumbbells around Aubrey because she doesn't understand that they could whack her in the head. We don't want that, right? No. Good morning, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Welcome from Santa Monica. We are just warming up. The Wi-Fi works today. Thank goodness. Now you let me. You had uh, Lucky Charms and eggs, Speedy. That's pretty good stuff. We'll start in five minutes. Um, that is Cameron Munger. Uh, he's with Warstick. So uh, he works with a company called Warstick in Texas. And they teach baseball and they make equipment. So uh, Cameron Monger is his name. Really good hitting coach. He's awesome. He played professional baseball and now he coaches. If you want to do the early bird warm up, we're just doing our runs with the dumbbells. Are you excited to be joining us today, Keats? So we got we got the niece here, Puppy Pro. She's doing the early bird warm up. Ooh, we better get some waters. 
we're gonna have we're gonna get hot and tired and we're gonna need some water so let's go do that get your water bottles ready folks Third fastest, good morning. It is a beautiful day for PE class. No, Instagram Live's not. <laughs> Trying to get Instagram Live to work, but it might not. Everybody. 
He's trying to get it fixed. Okay. All right. So you'll get, you'll at least be able to hear us and see us uh, from there as we're working out. Put it through the bars closer. But again, uh, folks, just go over to the YouTube. We'll be on YouTube today for PE. And uh, there you go. We just went on that work. You can go to YouTube. But see it on All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to class number 70. We've got a special guest today. It's Puppy Pro. Let's give her a round of applause. And an atta girl. If you're watching on Instagram, hello. Yeah, of course, we're having Wi-Fi issues again. But just go to the YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash coach ball game. Let's go three claps. One, two, three. Arms high. Show off those armpits. And smell those armpits. We did it. My left armpit smells like Friday. My right armpit smells like dog. No. Smells like Flowers. dog yogurt. No. Touch your toes, don't pick your nose. Oh, very nice. Yes. Spread out wide. Smell your left knee. Smell the left knee. Welcome in, everybody. Class number 70. How we doing? Soto in the house. Speedy. Jake in 25. Over to the right knee. Smell the right knee. And side to side. Go side to side with it. That's it. Just like that. Now twist the trunk, just like that. Now pick those strawberries. Ready, exercise. One, two, three. 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 On your bee honkus, butterflies, Instagram livers, come to YouTube so you can see us better. Butterflies on the bee honkus. Welcome in our special guest, Puppy Pro, with an Atta Girl. One, two, three. Atta Girl. We've also got Baby Ball Game here, and Bitty Ball Game is probably got her face in a jar of peanut butter. Yes, yes. Make a V. Touch your. And switch it over to the right, Phalange. And both Phalanges. It's good to have the YouTube working today. Hard to believe. Dad. Yes. That we have done this little show 70 times. Left leg out, right foot across. Twist and look behind you. If your back pops, say, oh, my Lanta. Can you say that, Aubrey? Dad, can I say my new back? You're behind my back. Can you say, oh, my Lanta? Oh, my goodness. Now, this is one of uh, Puppy Pro's favorites. It's hug your knee and say, I love your knee. I love your knee. Uh, I love your knee. I love, I love your knee. knee. And switch. I can't switch. Yeah, outstanding. So, got that going on over there. We got this going on right here. Hug that knee in. Say, I love you, knee. Aubrey, no, 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 no. Sit up, guys. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Upward facing dog. Arch your back. Bark like a dog. Roof. Roof. Oh, wow. Half moon on a 70th class. Wow. Outstanding. And switch. Half moon. 
Hello, Instagram Live. That's the only place on our house that we could get Wi-Fi. So come to YouTube. And up on your feet, run in place, run in place. That's a salute. Faster, faster, freeze. Faster, freeze. Faster, freeze. All right, right arm goes forward. Left arm goes back. Now try to scratch your right armpit with your left foot. Like what? Now, I want you to have a staring contest with your tongue and your nose. Go. And pause. Nolan Ryan Jr. in the house. Tay Tay in the house. Little Tizzle in the house. I can't wait. I can't wait to see you in 16 days. Flamingo. I want to meet Halsey. Flamingo stretch. Come. Come, Richard. If you're on, girls. And switch, flamingo. I see you up there, Judge Junior. I see you, uh, Super Henry, on Instagram. Up on down to the YouTube, so you can see us a little more clearly. You can see my mustache. Got a good mustache going. And ten jumping jacks. Ready? Exercise. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Seis, siete. All right, team meeting pose. On a knee, shoulders back. Uncomfortable eye contact. Let's stare at each other for 12 seconds. Go. Hello, Niceberry Farm. If you blink, you lose. And... Stop. Very good. Round of applause. We are going to go one minute run as Wolfie is here on YouTube. Love it. One minute run on your marks. Get set. Do some jogging. Run in place. Run around the yard. Run through the living room. Whatever. Hey, Wolfie, is anybody over on Instagram? Let me know. We see you up there, Instagram. That's the only place that we could get Wi-Fi with my phone. Crazy. Only took us 70 classes. Keep jogging. Good job. 20 seconds remaining. Get those knees up. All right, Wolfie, send them over to the YouTube if... If they're lost. Keep jogging. And stop. stop. Very good. Grab your dumbbells. Clap, 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 clap. Grab your dumbbells. Clap, 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 clap. So we're going to go curl to the shoulder press and back down. And we're going to do 10 of these, Soto. 10 of these, little tizzle. Mr. Watermelon, Tay Tay, Auntie Tracy, Knott's Berry Farm, Wait, Nolan Ryan Jr. She is. Avery Jean's going to use her shoes as dumbbells. On your marks, get set, go. Curl, shoulder press, and back down. Curl, shoulder press, and back down. Curl, shoulder press. Three. Curl, shoulder press. Four, that's it, and five, curl, shoulder press, six, curl, shoulder press, what's up, Instagram, get after it, class 70, we're going to attack this day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind, and down to the ground, now we've got our punches, we go across and across, how many punches in 30 seconds. Wait, who's this young lady beside me? It's Puppy Pro. Let's give her a Puppy Pro salute. Now pet that dog. Now play with that dog. Now explore the space with that dog. 
rough, rough. Oh, you're licking my face. Okay, and stop. 30 seconds of punches and go. Hoo, ha, hoo, yeah. Each punch is a point, puppy pro. Ow, I don't know how much. Rotate the hips. Don't just use your arms. Rotate your hips too. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. 10 seconds left. Use those hips and those abdominal muscles. Speedy just gave you an Atta Girl Puppy Pro. Thank you. You betcha. And stop. Very good. Let's go uh, water break and trivia. Trivia question, Instagrammers. I can't read from uh, all the way down here, but I can see if you type on YouTube. What class number is this? Quarantine PE class number what? We started March 16th, and Mr. Watermelon is the first Oh, my mom answer. is on here. Uh, J-A-P-R. What's your nickname, J-A-P-R? Mr. Vancouver, Nolan Ryan Jr., Speedy, Jake N25, Little Tizzle, Dinger. Outstanding. Knott's Berry Farms on both. It's class number 70. In honor of class number 70, we're going to do 70 floss karates. On your marks, get set, go. We'll just do 10 right now. We'll do seven sets of 10. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Okay, so that's 10 of our 70 Floss Karates. Firestone, you're in the building. Back to the dumbbells. It's curls and shoulder press. We're going 11 this time. And let me know what you're using for a dumbbell. Are you using your shoes? Are you using a loaf of bread? Are you using a half gallon of milk? Ready, go. Curl, shoulder press, back down. Curl, shoulder press, back down. Curl, shoulder press. What a day. That's it, Puppy Pro. We're getting stronger. We're getting wiser. Nolan Ryan Jr. is using stuffed animals. Speedy wants to do 70 burpees for class number 70. Man. I love it. Oh, Judge Junior. Gotcha. Judge Junior's using a uh, <laughs> a gallon of uh, field washer fluid. Catching Kitty in the house using tennis balls. Is Fitbit in the house too? And stop. Very good. Back to the punches. How many in 30 seconds? Beat the number you just got. Wait! Make sure your shirt's tucked in. Why does a ball player tuck their shirt in? Makes you smell better, makes you think faster, and it makes you look way, way better. Just ask Mrs. Ballgame. On your marks, get set, punch. One of my favorite dance moves. Especially when a new kids on the block song or a Spice Girls song comes on the radio, I just start rocking this right here. Doesn't matter where I'm at. If I'm at the veterinarian, post office, the lamp store, I like to go to the lamp store and just look at lamps. And if I hear this song, I just start doing this. Yeah. And stop. Water break. Next trivia question. Ooh, stronghold. Good call. Get that thing moving from a still position when you do those curls. I like that. Trivia question is, who is my guest today? What is her nickname? What is my, what is my guest's nickname? 
special guest. She happens to be my niece. I've known her since she was this big, and now she's that big. That's right. First correct answer was Firestone, followed by Watermelon, Little Tizzle, Nolan Ryan Jr., Fitbit and Catching Kitty, Judge Jr., it's Puppy Pro. Puppy Pro. How'd you get the nickname Puppy Pro there? I puppies. I have three dogs. One is my last name, and I like puppies. She has three dogs, and she loves puppies. So we're going to act like a dog for 12 seconds. Ready? Go! Frank Stokes is in the building with Super Henry. Ruff, ruff, ruff. We're acting like a dog because this is Puppy Pro. Captain America in the house as well. And stop. Now, there's a little bit of drizzle in California. So if you go to my Instagram story, you'll see that we've got an umbrella over the laptop. Yeah. And it's in a bucket with some foam around it so it won't waver. And that's how we're keeping the computer dry. Pretty epic stuff. I black salute for Duda Ball Game, who set up the umbrella so our computer doesn't get rained on. Mustache salute. Beard salute. Double bicep. Bounce back. Scholar. Bravery. Leadership. Sportsmanship. Hustle. Double bicep. Triple bicep. Quadruple bicep. And a huge add a girl. One, two, three. At a girl. They had a huge storm in Tampa, Florida. At a boy, Judge Jr. All right, back to the new bells. We've got one more set of curls to the shoulder press. And let's go 12 of these. Curl to the press. And that's two. Good job, third fastest. From a nice rested position. Good point there by Stronghold. Yes, indeedy. Tortellini. Keep it going. What are you using, Super Henry? What are you using, Judge Junior? What are you using, Watermelon? What about you, BMW? Good job, Fitbit. Good job, Captain America. And stop. Instead of punches, we're going to go push-ups. 30 seconds. How many push-ups can you do? Can you beat Puppy Pro on your marks? Get set. Go. Atta girl. You're usually I'm doing push-ups on the ball. I love it. Whoa. Good job. Try to get your hands right in here like this, point forward. Yeah, and up you go. That's it. Three seconds. And stop. Very nice. Right to the punches. On your marks, get set. Punch. 30 seconds. Punch. Go. Hoo. 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 Freeze. Now you're going to punch with your feet. Go. Punch. 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 Shouldn't it be called a kick? Probably. I think if you punch with your feet, they call it a kick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what you're using? Your stomach muscles. That's it, little tizzle. That's it, Speedy. That's it, Firestone. And stop. Water break. Next trivia question. What is the little one's nickname right here? The smallest, the smallest ball game girl there. What is her nickname? You get a scholar salute. No, I'm the biggest girl. You're the smallest. First one to get it right was Nolan Ryan Jr. It's Biddy Ball Game. Good job. Nolan Ryan Jr. followed by uh, Judge Jr., Mr. Vancouver, Firestone, JCAN25, Mr. Watermelon, Catching Kitty, Fitbit, Speedy, and Little Tizzle. Well done, well done. Okay, this 
is one of your favorites. Can you beat Coach Boggy? I don't think I can. I think you can. We got home plate. We got first base. We got second base. We got third base. We got our trash can in the middle. Here you go, baby ball game. So let's each start at a different cone. Okay, we've got four of us here, so you'll start there. All righty. And you will start with 10 kangaroo hops. You're going to hop over your cone 10 times, then shoot the basket, then go to the next one and try to get all the way around the bases before I do. On your marks, get set, go, 10. Shoot the basket. Retrieve your ball. Go to the next base. I've got a baby Joey in the pouch, mate. Yeah, mate. Australia. Shoot it in the basket. Next cone. You got to go to first. I'm a kangaroo in the wild of Australia, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah. And next cone. Puppy Pro is done. Did Baby anybody done. did anybody beat Baby Ball Game or Puppy Pro? Captain America won. Nolan Ryan Jr. done. Speedy done. Great job. Mustache salute to you all. So what I think I'm going to do for this PE class is we'll just go on YouTube. Uh, but over the summer, as I'm setting up my baseball camps, um, we'll do we'll do a little 30-minute PE every morning over the summer. So if you would like to participate in Coach Ball Games summer virtual PE class, it'll be uh, it'll be about 8 a.m. West Coast time. 8 a.m. West Coast time for most of the days of the summer. Knott's Berry Farm beat me. Catching Kitty, great job. I love it. Outstanding. Now, back to push-up position. We're going to go push-up into a burpee, but instead of the jump, we're going to go rough like a dog that's trying to jump over a wall since Puppy Pro is with us today. So it's the burpee dog jump. Get set, 30 seconds of it, go. Ruff, 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 ruff. Arf, 10 seconds left. Good job, Mom and Dad. Good job, Auntie Tracy. Yes. And Fireball. And stop. Water break. We got to take this opportunity to thank all of you guys that have joined in. Some of you, you've done all 70 classes. Some of you, maybe about 60 or so. Thank you for supporting this class. It doesn't cost anything, but you guys have kept it going with your Venmo uh, donations. And the ball games are so thankful. Puppy Pro even brought a little bag with $20. So let's give her a sportsmanship salute because she didn't have Venmo, but she donated two $10 bills that she saved up to her class. Come on over so you can take a bow. There she is. How about that for some serious sportsmanship? Now this is Speedy's 65th class. Can you guys um, type in the comment section, how many classes have you been to? 
Captain America's been to 34? I think 60. All right. Puppy Pro's 66. been to about 66 of the 70. Little Tizzle just gave you a sportsmanship salute. You got an Atta Girl from Judge Jr. and Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Firestone's been to 70. Ari and Joe. Super Henry's been to 69. I'd also like to know uh, and just say uh, yes. Have you ever been to any of my sand lots or summer camps? This is my mom's 70th class. Mom and dad have checked in from North Carolina 70 times. Hard to believe it. Catching Kitty and Fitbit have been to 30 of these. Also, comment uh, yes and uh, which one have you been to? Have you ever been to one of my sand lots or summer camps? Because we're going to be doing those all summer as well. Nolan Ryan Jr. with a yes. Little Tizzle with a no. Super Henry with a no. Puppy Pro is a yes. That's okay, Little Tizzle. It will happen. I am going to North Carolina to do some baseball coaching uh, June 15 to 20. And that will be in Arcadia, North Carolina. If you can pop on up for a day, you don't have to come to the whole week of camp, Little Tizzle. Uh, but I'll be there. I'm also going to run a Sandlot game in my hometown, Ashboro, uh, one night that week. I got to go to Tampa. Yep, Catching Kitty's done the Dana, Dana Point Sandlot. Knott's Berry Farm's done all of the stuff. The Firestones have been. Absolutely. Very, very good. Okay. This is going to be maybe the toughest uh, three minutes we've ever done at this class. But I want you guys to show yourselves how far you've come from the first to the 70th. Just follow me on your marks, get set, and start punching. Start floss karate. Hands up, right hand to the left foot, left hand to the right foot, and alternate, and alternate, and body squat. Boom, 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 boom. This is the smorgasbord of all the exercises we've done in 70 classes quarantine. Hello, Instagram. How you doing? Come on down to YouTube. And kicks. Boom, boom. Punch with your socks. Boop, boop. Punch with your socks. And boop, boop. Push up position. Go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sit up position. Touch the ground. Touch your socks. Touch the ground. Touch your socks. Sit ups. Use the stomach. That's it. There you go. That's it. And smell your left knee. What's it smell like? Smell your right knee. Say at a boy or at a girl to somebody in the room. At a girl, at a girl, at a girl, at a girl, and wherever puppy is at a boy. Find your tennis ball. Hula hoops. Hula hoops. Stay with me. That's right. Take your tennis ball and throw it up against the wall. Meet it. Squeeze it. Meet it. Squeeze it. And freeze. Take the tennis ball figure eight. Stay with me, little tizzle. Take the tennis ball alligator. Take the tennis ball, high five the sky. Take the tennis ball, ping pong drill. Take the tennis ball, balance it on your shoulder. Thumbs up. And lift your right leg. 
and shake off some imaginary peanut butter off your foot. Uh-oh, now you've got ants in your pants. Now, how many jumping jacks in 10 seconds? Go. Burpee time. Ready? Push up. Jump. Push up. Jump. Push up. Burpee. Push up. Burpee. Push up. Burpee. Very nice. Back to the body squats. And to the Irish folk dance. To the dumbbells. Across the body curls. This is epic. Stay with me. You can do them with balls. You can use balls. And how many floss dances in 12 seconds? Go. And stop. High knees. Hands to the knees. Stay with me. Don't give up. And stop. Two minutes of what a ball player does activity. Clean your room. Make the bed. I'll see you back here in two minutes. Class number 70. Go. Are you guys making your bed? Pro is cleaning up the living room right now. Bitty ball game, are you cleaning up your bedroom? It's two minutes of what a ball player does. Bitty ball game is going to go clean up her toys in her bedroom. I know Soto's making his bed. Super Henry thinks that folk dance might be a little more Russian. I, I think you might be right. I, uh, I sometimes get things wrong. Nolan Ryan Jr. cleaning up the living room. Nice job. Wonder what you're doing there, Joe Firestone. What about you, Ari Firestone? Judge Jr.? Little Tizzle, Speedy, what you doing, Catching Kitty? What about you, Fitbit? Making the bed, Fitbit, cleaning the living room, Catching Kitty. Wow, what are you doing, Knott's Berry Farm? What are you doing, little uh, uh, Mr. Vancouver? What about you, Mr. Stronghold? What are you doing, Fireball? Jake N25, Dinger, tell me what you're all doing. Super Henry cleaned up his room. Third fastest doing the dishes. Love it. Joe Firestone cleaning the room. Outstanding. And 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and you guys can sit on your behonkas if you're on Instagram, if you're on YouTube. You can sit on your behonkas. This is story time. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Slowly out your mouth. And the one rule of story time is you cannot speak. You cannot make any noise, and you can't move, all right? So, Puppy Pro, could you show us what story time uh, position looks like? There it is. Today, the story is about a ball player born with one arm. Had two eyes, one nose, one mouth, two ears, two legs, but only one arm. When he was five years old, he goes to his dad, and he says, Hey, Dad! Why am I the only guy in my kindergarten class with one arm? Everybody else has two. 
His dad said, that's just the way you were created. Well, this young boy had a big time dream. He wanted to be a baseball player. So he went in his backyard and with the one ball that he had, he started tossing it up in the air and catching it with his one hand. Then he'd throw it against the wall and he practiced catching it with that same hand. Then he started tying his shoes. He practiced tying his shoes with one hand. And then he learned how to make his cereal and uh, put his clothes on all with one hand. Everybody say, wow. wow. Now, this one-handed ball player hit home runs with his left hand. He threw touchdowns with a football with one hand. But his favorite thing to do was pitch. And let me go get a glove as you sit there quietly breathing. Back. So he had, he just had a little nub right here. He had no wrist or hand or fingers. So what he would do is rest his glove on the nub and then he would throw the ball against a wall. And when he would throw the ball, he would put the only hand he had into the glove. And then the ball would come back to him. He would catch it, cradle it, take the ball out, and throw it again. Pretty amazing. He practiced it so hard that he was able to do it faster than somebody with two hands. You see me, I've got two hands, I throw it, I catch it, I throw it, I catch it. He did it that fast with one hand. So he becomes one of the best pitchers in his hometown, and the University of Michigan said, hey, we want you to play on our team. So he becomes the best pitcher at the University of Michigan. Everybody say, wow. 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 Then he drives down to Florida, and he tries out for the United States Olympic team. When he gets to the tryout, the coach says, I know you've had a good season, but we don't have any room for you on the team. Wow. Well, had this one-armed man been told that he couldn't play before? Sure. A lot of his friends said, hey, you only got one arm. You can't be on our basketball team. Or you can't join us to play hockey uh, because you only have one arm. Every time he was told no, he would think these two words. Watch me. Watch me work harder than everybody else and watch me make it. So when the coach said, sorry, you can drive back to Michigan. We don't need you. He said, coach, please just give me one shot. Coach says, all right, go to the mound. The coach brings up his three best hitters at the tryout, and guess what the one-armed pitcher did? He would rest his glove right here on his nub. He'd step back. He'd pitch. Whew, and when the pitch would go to the catcher, then he'd take his left hand into the glove to field it. Well, those first three batters, strike out, strike out. Everybody say, oh, my Atlanta. Wow. The coach couldn't believe his eyeballs, but he knew he only had one arm. So he said, I'm going to bring out my three fastest runners and have them all bunt. I want to see if this guy can field his position. Well, as you know, he'd been working in his backyard doing that wall drill, practicing. So the first hitter comes up and bunts. The one-armed man fields the ball, cradles it under the armpit, takes it out, spin fires to first base. But he'd been practicing it so much that it looked like this. Kung Fu Panda! Everybody say, wow! Next guy comes up, bunts. The one-armed man does this. Zip zaps the pal. Like a ninja spider. Everybody say ninja. ninja. Third guy comes up and bunts. Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. Everybody say epic. epic. 
the coach couldn't believe his eyes, and he says, you are going to be the starting pitcher in the Olympics, Jim Abbott. Now, the day of the big game, Jim Abbott reads in the paper that nobody thinks he has a chance to beat the Cuban Olympic team. Now, the Cuban Olympic team was the most powerful hitters in the whole world. Everybody say, uh-oh. Oh, they're big. They're strong. But every time somebody said he couldn't do something, what would he say? Watch me. Watch me. So he goes out to warm up. And there's a lot of fans in the stands that are saying, we're going to win 37 to nothing. We're really good. And you only have one arm. Well, Jim Abbott went out there and he pitched seven innings and guess how many runs Cuba scored? That will be a trivia. Try to answer that question. In the Olympic Games, the one-armed man, Jim Abbott, pitched seven innings and the correct answer is zero. As he walked off the field, 50,000 fans weren't uh they weren't laughing anymore they got up out of their seats standing ovation everybody give uh give jim abbott a standing ovation yeah yeah all right halt you can sit back down on the bee honkus nice job now after that he went and played for the angels then he went and played with the brewers and he had Two career RBI singles for the Brewers. And then in 1993, trivia question. What did the one-armed man, Jim Abbott, do? In Yankee Stadium against the Cleveland Indians, what did he do? In the house that Ruth built, he stood on that mound, and 27 batters came up to the plate. And none of them got a hit. A no-hitter is correct. He threw a no-hitter. Answers by Firestone, Mr. Vancouver, Nolan Ryan Jr., Jake N25. Correct answers from Knott's Berry Farm. Fitbit, Catching Kitty. He threw a no-hitter. Cleveland Indians got zero hits. I've been reading his book, Imperfect. And if you have a chance to read it, please do. But in the final inning, the fastest runner in all of baseball, Kenny Lofton, tried to bunt. Interestingly enough, Kenny Lofton, who was running down the baseline, was going to be safe by a mile, but the ball hit a rock and bounced foul. And the umpire said, foul ball. The next pitch, he flied out to left field. The next pitch, ground ball to shortstop. Don Mattingly catches the ball at first base, and the crowd goes wild. <sighs> All the Yankees come out of the dugout, and they're carrying Jim Abbott on their shoulders. They're going wild. <sighs> Jim Abbott is still alive, and he travels the world, and he tells his story. He tells his story to kids that have no arms or no legs. He told that story to a kid in Tennessee who only has a left arm, and he's a catcher. He's now in high school, and his name's Luke Terry. Everybody say Luke Terry. Very good. So he'll catch the ball, and let's say somebody's trying to steal second base. He tosses the ball up in the air, tosses the glove to the ground, and boom, throws people out trying to steal with one hand. That is epic. Tennessee is that way, so let's give Luke Terry an attaboy. One, two, three. And a boy, Luke Terry. So, as we finish up our 70th class, I'd like you to comment in the comment section, why is Jim Abbott, the one-armed pitcher, one of my heroes? And Instagram, I can't read that far away, so come over to YouTube and type in the YouTube comments. Why is Jim Abbott one of my heroes? Nolan Ryan Jr. actually went and saw Jim Abbott speak at a library. Epic.
Ari Firestone says, because he never gave up. Correct. Knott's Berry Farm says, he overcame obstacles and became one of the best ball players of all time. Correct. Joe Firestone, never gives up. Correct. Mr. Vancouver, perseverance. Correct. Jake N25, Nolan Ryan Jr., Captain America, never gave up. My mom, he was determined. So today, take a little time and read the email I sent to you. Uh, if you didn't get an email from me, then sign up on my website, coachballgame.com, for the mailing list. I also posted it on my Instagram, but it's five things, five baseball activities you can do around your house with your family. I'm not going to... Uh, let the cat out of the bag. I'll let you read it. But one of them is trading baseball cards with your parents. Ask your mom and dad to dust off that old Mickey Mantle rookie card, and maybe you can trade an Aaron Judge for the Mickey Mantle. And then talk about those cards, because every baseball card has a story behind it. How'd you get that card, Mom? Who gave me that card, Dad? Right? So there's one of the five. Um, yeah, if you didn't get the email, sign up for the email list and check Coach Ball Games Instagram for five really cool activities you can do um, that involve baseball. Joe Firestone's dad has a Mickey Mantle card. Oh, my Lanta. Judge Jr.'s dad has some pretty cool baseball cards. Catching Kitty said, uh, Jim Abbott worked hard, and, and now he travels to tell his story. Now, Mr. Vancouver, great point. One of the, uh, one of the five things uh, in my email and on my Instagram post says to watch an old baseball game. Now, on YouTube, you can watch any, any game. You can watch game six of the 2011 World Series. You can watch game seven of the 2016 World Series. My dad doesn't like that game because he's an Indians fan, and I'm actually a Cubs fan. Uh, but watch that game with your parents, and extra credit, keep score of the game. Keeping score of a baseball game, super, super epic and important to learn how to do. Another one of the exercises, write the lyrics to take me out to the ball game. And then sing it with your folks. Teach the lyrics of take me out to the ball game with your brother or your sister. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks watches games on YouTube all the time. And yes, our Friday tradition before we leave, type in your joke and we'll have a joke telling contest. And we'll let Puppy Pro be the judge. She will announce the winner today. Joke telling contest over on our YouTube. What's your joke, baby ball game? Um, I didn't say Easter Bunny will give you eggs this year. Wait, what? I didn't say Easter Bunny give you eggs this year. Oh, yeah, we're not going to say that one. Make sure it's appropriate. Uh, some of my favorites from the last couple weeks. Who says... Ooh, a cow with no lips. Another one of my favorites, what did the uh, pirate say when he turned 80 years old? Hi, matey. All right. Our first joke comes from Mr. Vancouver. What kind of shoes does a ninja wear? Sneakers. Ah, that ninja is sneaky, man. I love it. Next joke comes from Judge Jr. What does a frog eat when it's hot outside? A hopsicle. Wait, what? A hopsicle. Wow. Get it? A popsicle. Pops. 
Keep the jokes coming if you have a good one. Captain America says, where did the Terminator get toilet paper? I'll be back. <laughs> That's good. All right, what's your joke, baby ball game? Okay, so first and then she'll be second. What did the popsicle say to the ice cream cone? What did the popsicle say to the ice cream cone? <laughs> Third fastest, you are welcome. All right, knock knock joke. Um, knock knock. Who's there? Boo hoo. Boo hoo hoo. Don't cry, little baby. Don't cry. Oh, my Lanta. That's good stuff. Coming from Judge Jr. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? In case you got a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> oh, that comes from Judge Jr. Yeah. Tom Brady got a hole in one of his pants. He had to wear two pants. Oh, Tay-Tay. Auntie Tay-Tay coming Tay -Tay. in with a joke. What do you call a fake noodle? Oh, what? An impasta. An impasta. <laughs> That one's probably my favorite. This one's coming in from uh, from Nolan Ryan Jr. Where can you find a pirate who's lost both of his wooden legs? Right where you left them. <laughs> that's good. That one's awesome. Gonna have to say that one again. Uh, that's good. Where can you find a pirate who lost both of his wooden legs? Right where you left him. Uh, does Harry Potter travel? Harry Potter. Oh, man. This is an inside Harry Potter joke that I I've, I haven't done any Harry Potters, but I'm sure it's funny. I haven't read all the books, and my mom, until I finish all the books, my mom won't let me watch the movies. All right. <laughs> what does a sheep umpire say to start a baseball game? Man, her up. <laughs> Super Henry coming in. Uh, why don't ladybugs play hide and seek? Because they always get spotted. Super Henry. Super Henry's really good with uh, sloth and ladybug jokes. Wait. This is coming from uh, Catching Kitty and Fitbit. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yeah. Yeah, who? That's good. Yeah, who? All right, baby ball game. What is yours? Where's the cat? Where's the cat? On a Friday night. To the movie. Oh, to the movies. Very nice. All right. 70, pretty epic. I can't, uh, I can't thank you enough for all of your, all of your donations and all of your support and for just coming and, and attending the class. Our last joke comes from uh, uh, Fitbit. What do you say when the baseball smells? Bad? That's foul. That's right. That's what I say whenever there's a foul ball. P.U. That ball smells foul. All right, gang. It's been real, and it's been fun, and it's been real fun. Bad. Ari Firestone, a Spanish magician, says he can disappear on the count of three. He says uno, dos, and poof. He disappears without a trace. Mustache salute. That's a good one, Ari. Bye-bye, uh, Speedy. We'll see you later, everybody. Have a great weekend. You're welcome, Jake. See you, Ryan O. And good job, Puppy Pro. Outstanding. You're welcome, Grandma. Squeaky Cheeks. Great class. Love you, Emma and Duh. See you, Judge Junior. You're welcome. Richard and Halsey. Auntie Tracy Carpenter. Yeah. 
Love you. Joe Firestone, Ari Firestone, you, you're welcome. Nolan Ryan Jr., you're welcome. Um, we'll see you Monday. Have a great weekend. Class 71. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Captain America. See you, Dinger. All righty. See a little tizzle, third fastest. Everybody who joined in today. See you, Mr. Vancouver. See you, Knott's Berry Farm. See you, Peeps. See you, Speedy. See you, Martin's family in Alberta, Canada. See a baseball master kid. See a little tizzle. The floor says goodbye too. See a super Henry. The floor says goodbye too. See a stronghold. See you, Mr. Watermelon. There you go. Love you, Tay Tay. Love you. Love you, Tay Tay.